so yeah it was actually personal information of mine that was leaked to the public so technically it was something that i did not want to speak on or talk about because it was personal but since people do know um and since it's out there i want people to have some context around what they are speaking on so that when you speak about things like this you can speak with with facts let's not just assumptions people are leading with okay there was an incident um that rod got arrested for back in january okay. so my phone keeps falling and it keeps overheating but i'm gonna try to get through this story so um anywho like i was saying um people i want you guys to understand what he what people have to do in order to get my get this information now although this information is public this is not something somebody just falls into or comes across online it's not like they just were like oh my gosh you know i just happened to find this information uh, oops it fell into my lap they had to literally apply to receive um access to it they had to write a letter and request to get this information so like i said although it's public although it's public it's not easily accessible information. Does that make sense? So when I say people do the most when they're trying to exploit a situation, they absolutely do the most to exploit a situation for their personal gain and benefit. It's for money and it's for views and it's for clicks. It's not for, there's no benefit for me for people doing this. It's only benefiting them. Um, so anyway, it's out there. There's some people who've been talking about it. And since it's my story, since it's my life, you know, there are people who think that I'm supposed to tell them, which I'm not. I just, I'm going to share this though because I just feel like it, okay? I have to have my fan, my, I have to have the air blowing because if I don't have it blowing, my phone's going to overheat. So I hope you guys can hear over that, okay? So the night that this happened, um, me and Rod were cooking in the kitchen, okay? We were cooking in the kitchen for dinner for the kids he was making dinner actually and i was recording him for his cooking channel i was um i had this is like i had just recently got over covid so i was better but i was like still having some moments where days where i would just feel sick again i don't know if that happened to any of you guys who had covid i know i went through that when i had pneumonia and I had pneumonia recently. I mean, I, you know, when I had pneumonia and I had COVID pneumonia, so that's probably why I was feeling like that. But anyway, so it was one of my days where I was just tired. You know, it was, it was, I was tired. I wasn't feeling well. And, you know, the kids were all rowdy and hyper and, you know, just one of them days where I was just like, ugh, I'm, I just want to go to bed, take a bath and go to bed. But, I, you know, I was committed to getting this done, plus dinner had to be made anyway. It just took longer because I was recording. So I was aggravated as it was. He knew this. I'm like, I'm tired, but I'm going to help you do this because we need content for the channel, whatever. So, you know, we did that. And amongst, right at the end, we get all the kids fed. I'm getting the last shot. During the process of that, um, me and him he said something that made me angry and I can't remember what it was so at this point I'm like you know finish the rest yourself I'm about to go take my bubble bath because that's what I wanted to do anyway and so he gets on the phone with his cousin who's a woman who's older than both of us um and I don't know his cousin personally I don't have a problem with any of his family but I just don't know her personally basically he gets on the phone with his cousin and you know he's just talking he's talking about you know us I guess not getting along right now or whatever or he's talking about the situation or me bickering or whatever. I don't know what he's talking about. So he leaves for an hour, about an hour, because that's how long I was soaking for. And then he comes back into the room. And by this time, I'm getting out the tub, getting my pajamas on. And he's talking to the cousin um, about something. And he's like, yeah, she's here. And he puts the cousin on speaker. I already don't like that. I hate when people do that to me, just in any situation. Like, don't put me on speaker. And I don't want to talk to your fucking cousin because what am I talking to her about? I'm a, I'm a grown ass woman. I said what I said and I don't care. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stop putting your cousin in our business. That's really where I was coming from. So I was already irritated. Like y'all, like I already told y'all I was not feeling well. So I was like, all right, whatever. So out of respect, I was like, okay, you know, she gets on the phone and 
she she so he puts it on speaker and I'm like yeah mm -hmm, yeah hi and she's like um you know I'm just sitting there and she's just yelling she's like bitch you blah, blah 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 and if you was really sick like you you pretending to be sick but if you was really sick like you was like you claim you were then you um you would have the art the, the the energy to argue with anybody and blah 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 like just all this other shit and i'm just i'm to myself i'm like self don't let her get you worked up don't let her get you worked up because that's exactly what she's trying to do and i don't even know her and she doesn't even know what she's talking about like whatever but it was the fact that she kept calling me out my name that I had a problem with. So I I cut her off. I was like, okay, wait, wait, wait. I just let her talk. I wasn't about to argue with her. In one mile, turn left. So I wasn't about to argue with her. I just I just was like, excuse I was like, hey, hey, hey. I was like, respectfully, I don't know you. I don't I don't know you. I don't know who you are. Don't call me a bitch. I ain't nobody's bitch. I ain't never been a bitch. Ain't never gonna be a bitch, and if I was a bitch, I would show the fuck would be your bitch. I told her just like that. I'm not your bitch. Don't call me a bitch. Um, if you gotta say something to me, you can say something to me, but don't don't call me on my name, girl. When I tell you, she just she just went off again after that, bitch. Blah 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 blah. So I I was like, I'm not I'm not doing this. You know what I'm saying? At that point, I'm mad. See, that's the thing though. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm a work in progress to not let people get me out of pocket and get me upset like that because that's what they want to do. You see what I'm saying? People do that shit on purpose. Um, and it's just, just learning to have self-control and learning to control your anger is a definite skill that has to be mastered with growth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm getting better, but you know, it's just like, it was like all these, I'm tired as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm not feeling well. This woman, then I got this woman on the phone who I don't know yelling at me, calling me out my name. You know what I'm saying? And I guess in defense of him, but she didn't need no defense. You know, it was a relationship thing. Like, we were bickering. We bicker sometimes. That's what couples do. And, you know, I don't know what he told her, but whatever he told her must have, must have made her upset because she was trying to get on my ass. And I'm like, I don't even know you. So, he, I told him, take her off the speaker. Like, don't, don't come in here talking to me with her on the phone. Like, because obviously she's being disrespectful so at that point i don't got nothing i don't want to talk to you i don't want to say like i'm good on you like I'm, i don't whatever get out my face um and so he was still on the phone with her on speaker i'm still you know half naked i'm getting dressed and um she's like um so he's still on speaker i don't know what she's saying she's just blurting some shit in the background but the fact that she's still talking shit in the background makes me mad okay it's too hard to try to do this while i'm driving so i'm just gonna um sit here and tell my story really quick so basically i go to grab the phone out of his hands i'm like uh-uh you're not gonna talk about me and have your cousin on the phone talking shit in the background in my house like i'm not gonna let that happen he should have stopped it but he didn't he let it go on which was childish of him but he, he let it go on so with that being said i was like no so i was like okay give me the phone because you i'm gonna throw that phone out i'm gonna put it in the what that trash i'm gonna throw that bitch out the door you can go follow it and talk to her outside like basically that's where my mind was well really i should have just went and laid my ass the fuck down because i didn't have the energy to even be doing all that i'm grabbing the phone out of his hand obviously he's not trying to let it go he's like pulling it back and i'm like he's going this way and i'm going this way so he pulls he puts his he puts his arm up and push like pushes my shoulder to like get off of him um and when he pushed me there were like a stack of my decorative pillows on the floor in the closet so when he pushed me i you know yeah how you take a step back but i tripped on pillows and we both fell he tripped with me so we tripped together so we fall so when i fell he fell too and then when he fell he fell on top of me so the weight from him pushed me like you know he fell on top of me basically you know my head hit the wall it wasn't serious damn it wasn't seriously i wasn't seriously injured but you know i did bump my head on the wall because of the sheer fact that he fell on top of me so i'm like nigga get the fuck off of me so i get up he gets up i'm pissed at this point because i'm like you pushed me and it made me fall and you let your cousin call me out my name and so i call 911 because i'm because first i tell him i'm like okay you can get the fuck out because i'm just go 
And he's like, I'm not about to like go anywhere. And he's like, it's late. You know, I'm not about to go anywhere. I'm about to just sit here. And I'm like, but you're not going to talk on the phone with your cousin. He was not going to get off the phone. Mind you, his cousin's on the phone this entire time, basically just egging him on. And so I'm like, okay, you got, you got to go now. Cause I'm no fuck this shit. I'm not about to do this with you. This little back and forth. You're not about to sit up here and talk about me on the phone with your cousin. Like that's not going to happen. So, um, I was like, okay, I'm gonna call them. So I was like, okay, you don't want to leave? I got a place for I got I, I got a place where people who don't want to leave they can go to. Again, I wasn't thinking, but I was angry, so I call, and then I'm like, you know what? So I call, and I'm like, you know what? Fuck you! I'm gonna hang up because at that point I started to think a little bit like, I don't do I really want to call the police here? Do I really want to deal with the police? No, because I did not feel good. At the end of the day, I just wanted to go to bed. You know what I'm saying? So I hang up, um, but they had already you know i called but they answer and i didn't say anything i just hung up he's still on the phone with the cousin i decided to call his sister instead because i'm i actually know the sister and you know we have like a, a little bit of a, a, a talking relationship so you know if i got a problem i with if i said so i'm irritated with him i'll just call her you know um but it was late and i think she was asleep so she didn't answer but by about that time he's out the door on the phone with his cousin still the police come up because they're gonna come and do a check anyway and honestly to be real with y'all like if it was just me at the house with if it was if we were both in the in the house and they would came by i wouldn't have even answered the door to be honest because it wasn't that serious i was just really fucking angry let me go ahead and say yes he was wrong for pushing me at all he should have never pushed me at all so he doesn't get a pass for that but you know i just feel like it was just a, a situation that escalated for stupid shit um so but anyway so the guy comes he talks to him because he's already outside and then he knocks on the door and he's like yeah are you christina and i'm like yeah that's me and he's like oh okay so it seems like you guys had like a little ar ar argument or whatever and stuff like that and i was like yeah and fuck him he can go somewhere else tonight because you know he disrespected me and i don't, I don't appreciate that and he was like okay you know so he cl I cl so he said something and um i was mad because he was still on the phone with the cousin so i slammed the door in both the cop's face and his face i'm like fuck honestly fuck the both of y'all you two guys figure this out you guys figure it out it's not, not got nothing to do with me i'm comfortable bye and i close the door boom so if you, i go sit down because I'm, I'm fuming at this point i'm like so angry i'm like i can't believe this motherfucker you know then um the the officer knocks on the door again he's like ma'am okay so you know i know you're mad i know you're upset is it possible you guys can go to two different parts of the house like he go downstairs you go in the room you go in the room you whatever whatever he go on the couch whatever you know just to you know till y'all calm down or whatever and i looked at him and i said fuck no i said he's not coming back in here he disrespected me he made me angry um you know he's got the cousin on the phone still and i told him have your cousin book you a fucking flight and that's it and i close the door again so then the officer knocks on the door again a couple minutes later and he's like hey i'm gonna be honest with you he's like i if you're not he's like he can't just stay outside you know what i'm saying he said he doesn't have anywhere else to go if he can't come in the house for the night or whatever then i'm gonna have to call my sheriff deputy and he's gonna have to handle the situation now in my mind i knew that that was like a okay if you don't let him in he's gonna get arrested but I was like, get arrested. I don't care because don't disrespect me. Don't push me. Don't fucking have your cousin calling me and out my name. Like, that's cute. It's not cute. Um, and I was just like, I was over it. At, the, at that point, I was like, you've pushed me too far. That was the first and the last time you're ever going to get me like that. So um, I said, do what you got to do. I slammed the door. Um, about five minutes later, Sheriff Deputy knocks on the door he he's he already has been briefed on everything that happened he asked me again i told him i said i don't know where the fuck he's gotta go but he can't come here because he pissed me off you tell him to call his cousin that he's on the phone with and you have her work out some arrangements because i'm not about to do it i don't care if you gotta go to jail whatever and i said he pushed me i don't appreciate it they were just like oh he pushed you okay did you do you have any marks on you or anything or any bruises and i was like no so basically um he went to jail because he pushed me at trip. We both fell. I fell. I, I hit the wall. But really, this is. But he, he really went to jail because he pissed me off and he let his cousin call me out my name and a multitude, a multitude of other things that you know that kind of escalated the situation. Now looking back, I probably would have still been very angry with him, but I thought twice to call the police 
or to talk to the police at all because um, of what's happening now. I don't want people all up in my business, you know? And then on top of that, these various things that now, you know, the, all these various things that, that have to be done now because of, th of that one night. So, you know, looking back, I wouldn't have called the police, but he made me mad. And so that's what happened. Um, so basically, you guys, that is, that's the story. Um, that's what happened. And for the people online who are saying, oh, you lied about his character. No, I didn't lie about his character. All the things that I told you or that you showed, that I showed or that you guys saw of him were actual events, actual things. That's actually how the man acts on a regular basis. For those of you saying I lied, I don't know how I can lie about something I just didn't put my put out there myself. I didn't, there was no lying happening. I just didn't talk about it, you guys. Um, and also the breakup i didn't lie about why we broke up we did not break up because of that he's never put his hands on me he's never put his hands on my children or was aggressive with me or them or anything like that that one night yes he did push me but outside of that he's never done anything violent towards me okay and um there was something else i was gonna say oh and another thing that i wanted to say really quickly is that people were asking like why uh why did i lie about why we broke up we didn't break up because of that we broke up for other reasons and it was nothing violent nothing violent at all the reason why we broke up i will talk about maybe in another video if i feel the need to but um we broke up for other reasons and it's just basically the man needs to go on his own personal journey you know and that journey needs to be taken alone there's some things that he really needs to work on and um you know i just can't i cannot go on that journey with him because it's his journey personally and it's it's you know it's just it's just his journey and so i just feel like he's not ready for a committed relationship right now he's got to do some personal healing and hell i probably am not either so that's why i'm choosing to be single um but yeah it has nothing to do with that night or anything like that i wasn't ever abused what i really hate people saying is that i choose men over my kids or you know uh, defending him or whatever I, I don't do that i don't make excuses for grown men i don't have to and i would never put my uh, any any of my romantic relationships before my children at all you know i know there's a lot of people online who try their damnedest to make it seem like i'm d crazy and all i care about is men and i don't care about my kids and that's the furthest thing from the truth that's it i think that's all i really wanted to address with that situation um as, far as everything else it's really none of you guys is business and um i'm not gonna talk about it but let's just say everything i do is for a reason um people always have a concern with me moving and they think that that's very unstable but you guys i have nine children um and i want to afford them the best life possible that i can and that i can comfortably afford so you know, sometimes that might mean we have to move to a different location to get a house that's the right size for us, that's in the right price point for me. Until I purchase a home, I'm going to probably move yearly. And um, I try my best to stay in the same area if I can. Like, say, for instance, Houston. When I was living in Houston, I lived my in my house for a year. My lease was going up for renewal. Re renewal and... Um, I had talked to the owners about renewing for another year and I was about to and then they came to me like last minute literally the month that my lease was supposed to be up and told me that they were going to sell they were going to sell a house because they had another house down by the beach that was an Airbnb that made more money so they were going to let this house go and I was like okay great I wasn't you know I wasn't in the market to buy I wasn't able to buy it and I didn't want to buy that house anyway so I was like, all right. So literally, it was hard for me to find a place in Houston at the time because it was like, it felt like everybody was moving. It was super competitive. Five bedrooms were scarce. And the ones that were, that I was able to, you know, that I did see that I liked were like somebody would get it before me or something like that. So it was crazy. So I started looking outside in outer areas, outer cities, because one thing about me, I'm not about to be homeless. Okay. So especially with my kids so I was looking at out, outer cities because I was desperate I had to you know um it was either that or let myself be without a house and I got my house in Austin 
and you know got i got i, I applied just started applying for everything that my landlord in austin called me back and he was like yep it'll work it's a five bedroom whatever and i was like okay great so that's how i got that house i don't just wake up one morning and be like hmm i think i'd like to uproot my kids and move because it's just convenient it's just something i'd like to do with my life my life is not like that now another thing that i want to stress to you guys is that when i lived in colorado i lived there all of my life all of my adult life up until four years ago four years ago was the first time i moved out of colorado with all of my kids um and like just left so i'm not really one of those types of people who normally moves from state to state or city to city i don't usually do that but at the time living in colorado didn't financially make any sense anymore because the cost of living had gotten way too high for me to afford my kids a life that i want to give so no i'm not rich and I, I can't go get a mansion but i can afford my kids a nice lifestyle and i was talking to you know and i just have to do that the best way i know how and i understand not everybody's life is like that some of you guys have lived in the same house your entire life until you went to college or got married or left the nest and mo only moved twice your entire life and that's great for you and that's just you just have to be you have to just be open-minded to other people's lifestyles. There's people who have whole families that live in RVs and shit now. I mean, it's a new day. People do things differently. It doesn't make them bad parents. doesn't make me a bad mother. doesn't mean that I'm not caring about my kids or their friendships and things like that. But what I'm not going to do is pick my kids' friendships as much as I do appreciate their, their bonds that they do make with their friends. I'm not going to pick their friends over having a, a comfortable lifestyle or a house or a place to live. I'm not going <laughs> to be struggling because my kids friends don't want them to move. they don't want to leave their friends do you understand um so that's basically just my reasoning for when i do move no, but i do get it i do understand and i do want to stay in a place for longer than a year you, want, you know i might sell it rent it whatever and go find something else that i like you never know but um until i purchase a home i'm probably gonna be moving so you guys just be open-minded about it you know, and I will tell you something that one of my subscribers told me the other day that kind of opened my eyes to a lot of different things, too. Um, and, I, you know, like I told you guys, if you guys hit me up, I don't get a chance to get to everybody all the time. But that day I had time and, you know, we got into a really good conversation. And, hey, girl, you know who you are. Um, but I, we got into a really good conversation. And, you know, she was talking and she's like, I understand, you know, you moving and things like that. But she's like, listen, Chrissy, she's like, I grew up for 10 years. I can't remember. She said housing or the projects, but. Um, she's like, I grew up for 10 years in the projects. She's like, and I would have rather, she's like, and she's, and she's grown. She's older than me. She's got kids that are in her, that, that are in their twenties. And she told me this and she was like, I would have rather lived in nice houses and had nice places and, and lived in nice neighborhoods and been afforded that type of lifestyle and moved every year than to grow up for 10 years in the projects and that changed my life right there so i just wanted to say like you know I, I know there's a lot of people who don't understand what i do or why i do it but you're just gonna have to understand that my life is not i don't live my life inside of any type of statistical i don't live my life inside the norm it's obvious i'm i have nine children you know i my life i don't do things the same way everybody does them um and I make mistakes along the way because guess what? I'm human. So it just, it is what it is, you guys. You just have to understand and rock with me anyway. I know a majority of you, I don't got to tell this. I know you guys get it. But, and the people who are negative are always going to be negative. They're always going to have something to say. And we talked about this on live today. And um, I'm just trying to grow around it, you know, because they're not going to go away. And they are trying to stop my growth, but it's not going to happen going forward i'm just going to be more mindful mindful of the men that i date mindful of the people that i let in my personal space my friendships mindful of the moves that i make um online because i know i'm constantly being watched and scrutinized and it's a lot but it is what it is it's the price that you pay um for being a content creator and ha people having access to you so um, I just wanted to come on and say that again, 
I'm not making excuses for um, I'm not making excuses for Rod. I think that what he did was wrong. Um, but at this point, it's like it's behind me. I'm not in a relationship anymore with him. Um, and I'm happy. I'm actually happy. I love I love where I'm at in life. And I feel like I'm finally I, I'm about to be 32 next in two weeks. And I'm just now about to, I'm just now starting to figure out, OK, do this. Don't do this. Do this. Don't do that. So um, it is it just is what it is, you guys. I love you. Um, and I thank you guys for understanding going forward. I probably will not address anything else. I don't know what my content is going to look like from now on because there's a lot of things that I just will not ever show you guys again or talk to you guys about again. I'm always going to love my children first. I know there's a lot of people who don't understand a lot of the things that I do or try to make it seem like I will ever pick a man over my kids. You know, you guys, that's why I'm, I've am i been in and out of relationships because I don't put any men before my children. And if I find that there's this is not going to work, I would rather not be in a toxic relationship than to continue to stay with someone just for appearances or stay with some, someone just because of whatever. You, I'm working on myself personally at this point. I got my own personal journey that I'm on, my self-love journey. And instead of working to find someone to pour myself into, I'm gonna worry about pouring into me. And when the right person comes along, I'm open to that. Um, but right now I'm just on this on this personal journey where I gotta take a step back and focus on the things that make me happy so that I can get back to, so I can get back to me, you know? That's it. That's all. I don't even know if I'm going to post this because I don't like people in my business and talking about this puts you guys further in my business. But I just feel like, you know, everybody likes, the, uh, there are people that are, are trying to take this and blow it out of proportion. Um, and I'm not even with that person anymore. And again, it wasn't because of this, that situation, but you know, that was one of the things on the list of, okay, I, I need to, I, I'm, 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 I'm working I'm not I'm not dealing with this anymore, you know. So, and although that was like a one-time incident, I wasn't about to stick around and see anything else, see for myself anything else. Um, oh, and one more thing I want to address, and I gotta go back and add this in the beginning, but there are people questioning why I would even talk to him with a previous domestic violence record. Number one. Um, the reason why I continued to talk to him after I did it, because I do a background check on anybody I, I want to talk to seriously. So I already knew this stuff, you guys. Um, but the reason why I did talk to him was because it was from like 11 years prior. 11 years. Um, and I just was like, you know, 11 years ago, he was 20 something, you know, he was in his early 20s. And I'm not the same person I was from 20, from, uh, I'm not the same person I was from 11 years ago. And a lot of you aren't either, you know? So that's why I didn't hold that against him. That's like someone being a felon and 11 years ago, they robbed a bank. So now, you know, you're going to hold that against them. Society's going to hold it against them. And they've already, they've already done their time, paid their dues, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't hold it against him. Now, if it was like recent or something that was like an ongoing thing or, you know, something like that, then yeah, I get it. I understand. But knowing him as a person and seeing that, I was like, okay, that was 11 years ago. But if you ever show me different, I reserve the right to break it off. And, you know, um, so that's basically it. You know, I don't want to get on here and bash anybody but i don't want to get on here and try to act like i'm protecting anybody because i'm not y'all can have at it he's a grown-ass man if he wants to get on or whatever and i which i doubt but if he ever wanted to get on and defend himself or say whatever he wanted to say he has more than he has all he can do whatever he wants to do but my focus is on me and these kids always always and forever you guys are just gonna have to know that i feel like we're family so i feel like you should already know that anyway I love you guys so much and I really thank you for watching this video, clicking on it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe my go ahead and subscribe to my channel. The content is a lot more light and fun than than this conversation, but I am I'm just tired of getting lied on, so I'm going to go ahead and put this out there. But I'm not addressing anything else online because it's really you guys, it's none of your business and going forward I'm just going to be very mindful of 